Mm-hmm. Okay, it's going. Yeah. Oh, shit. You all right? Yeah, oh, you're all the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, yo. This is what I want to talk about today. Uh, what I mean when I say don't eat your kids. Because it's not a... It's not a directive for other people. I'm talking. I'm talking to my. I'm having a conversation in here. It's more a we than it is a me. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm learning why it's important. I'm learning why it's important. Uh, what do I mean when I say eat my kids? Um. I'll tell you how I came to it. That's 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 basically you know, the story of it. Um, it was it was from my uh, ayahuasca ceremony. It was on the second night. First night was, you know, uneventful from my perspective, I guess. But I mean, not, it's not that there was nothing that happened, but it, it is in terms of this is uneventful. Um, because the second night is when I got the purge I wanted. Um, okay, so when I went there, I had taken my, um, y'all might've seen my Oogie Boogie doll before. Um, I had taken that with me and, uh, I was, I was on the mat. We were all on the little mats in the big circle room. I was on my mat and, uh. I had the Oogie Boogie doll with me. Like the first night, I, was, I already took the big dose and it was like, it didn't hit, hit. But so I was like, okay, I know I got to lean in to get it to, to hit the way I hit. Um, so we, it's cool. It's, you know, that's what I wanted. Um, so I, I take the double shot, you know, the double shot of the little stuff. They give you the little drink, the juice. Um, and by the way, like when I took the second shot, because the first time I took it and I smelled it, it was, it was like an insatiable smell. Like the, the description of the smell is like if you mix Worcester sauce and prune juice, I know that doesn't sound intoxicating, but that like the smell was intoxicating. But when I say I say that because by the time I took the second shot, well, on the second day, rather, by the time I took it, I couldn't taste it or smell it like it was it was completely neutral. So I know I was like, OK, I don't need this anymore. I, after this, this is going to be good because. There was a whole bunch of people who've been doing it for years and years and taking more and more. And they say it's long, the more you take it, the nastier the ayahuasca shot gets. And I'm like, because me, once again, I'm, these motherfuckers are on a cultist. So I'm going I'm to cultist and I know exactly what the fuck is going on. It's like, oh, it's it, you, it's like um, a mother's milk. Because they call the shit the mother, bro. Like when she's weaning you off the milk, it, it sours. She'll change her diet so the milk tastes different and the baby gone. But motherfuckers like, it's... Mama's telling you get off the titty, but these motherfuckers don't know nothing about be a baby. Anyways, anyways, um, so I get to the ceremony, right? And uh, I do the two shots. Um, I do the the nose spray, the the rapé. It's like some kind of ceremonial tobacco that they spray in your nose. So they spray it, and then it just that shit hits and it hurts and it burns. But it, you know, it goes away after a few seconds. So I got the double shot, got the double shot, you know, um. And I was blowing my nose. I had a little trash can next to me. And they had the music playing. I could feel myself start to swaying a little bit, right? Blowing my nose, putting it in there. And I looked down in the trash can. And I'm like, well, the tissues and stuff, it looks like a skull looking up at me. And I'm like, okay, yes, it's time. Let's go. Puts the trash can back. I'm like, all right, good. I'm good. I'm good. And, you know, I could I could feel the dance start up. So, I, so my body's dancing, right? I'm feeling it. I'm rolling with it, right? And... I can start to see the little, uh, for all intents and purposes, we'll call them shadows. Okay. Um, I could start to not, not physical body see them. Cause once again, like I'm an occultist. I wasn't playing. Oh my God. I'm here. My mommy is like, it wasn't like me and me and me and ayahuasca dealt with the whole mommy thing in the first night. Okay. It wasn't no, damn, it is eventful. Look, this was the mommy thing, okay? Like I said, everybody goes there and they're they're looking at the drug. Mommy, mommy, I'm baby, please help me. You know, and it's like 
It's not to say mommy can't handle everything baby got. But the other side of mommy is daddy. And then nobody, nobody was coming with any daddy. And so she was shriveled. She was hurt, crying. And so we just dealt with that the first night. Like, okay, look, I can, we can have fun. We got two nights. We can have fun for me on the next night. You chill, you know, okay, cool. But this is why this was eventful though. Because on the second night, first thing I start out with was my shadows. I could, I could see him. It was wonderful. I was all tiger, bro. I was all tiger. Oh, God. Cause I was, it, the music was the medium. The music was the medium. Like, bro, I haven't feasted like that in eons. Like, old school Shiva shit. Like, I ain't feasted like that in eons. I'm talking, they were everywhere. You know, and as I'm hunting, the I got my, my body's dancing a little bit every now and then, just bleh, right into the trash can. Bleh. Every time I caught one, bah, gotcha. Bleh. Hoo -hoo, gotcha. Bleh. Oh my God, it was delicious. Because mm. it's not just boom, boom. It's like they're everywhere. So boom, I got you. I'm watching. I, I saw you two run away. Oh, you think you're hiding. I love, I can smell your fear. Boom, I'm going to catch this one. I'm going to catch this one. While you watch me do it, come back around and grab you. Wait, stop. I'm tell Have you ever seen like one of them terrier dogs in a room full of rats? Like, bruh. Grab it. <laughs> oh, it was so wonderful. Anyways, anyways. I got to one that I couldn't, I couldn't seem to catch. I was going after it too, boy. Mm. Couldn't seem to catch it. Um, and I had to stop. because uh, The reason I stopped is because it did one of my moves. And the taste of it was like when a father sees their face in their son's face. Or like, like you, you see a kid do some shit you do. I was like, what the fuck? Food don't do that. And I was like, oh, food don't do that. <laughs> food don't do that. Um, was it like a thick a TAC high or being drunk at the same time? It's nothing like either of those. It's nothing like either of those. It's more like it's more like a mushroom trip, but it's well look, because see, this is the thing. It depends on how you approach the whole scenario. Like I said, from baby side, it's all humanity. And, and it's and it's not to say that's right or wrong, but it's a completely different experience. Um, but yeah, I'll continue describing it to you because this is, I'm telling you, it, 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 I'll continue describing it. Um, so yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I couldn't catch this one. And so I stopped. I saw it do one of my moves, like undeniable. It was like, no, okay, this isn't food. And it was, it was my personality. Um, it was the part, it looked like every, it looked for all intents and purposes, it may as well have been a shadow, but it was more me than it was those things. It looked like that. Um, so at this point, okay, I stopped my body from dancing and I, I set it back, cross leg, you know, because before I was, I was on my hands and knees, just, mm, mm, bruh, it was wonderful. So, but I was like, okay, cool. Chill on the tiger, chill on the tiger. This is, this is, this is chill on the tiger because it was terrified of me. It was terrified of me and rightfully fucking so. And this is where we get to the meat of the lesson on this one, man. He said more like shrooms. Yeah, more like shrooms. More like more like shrooms, but less um it's not hitting you in in waves like shrooms. Well look, LSD does that more than shrooms does. Um I don't know. I don't really it, it, I want to say shrooms times four or five, but I mean, it's, it's, 
once again, I, I don't want to try and predict your experience because um, of how you may approach the situation. Um, do you reckon you were, they were all part of your personality? Yeah, yeah. All the ones I was fucking with at that point were just my personality. All of them. All of them, yeah. Uh, it's like, it's like Shroom has a mother. Yeah, it's like Shroom, there you go. It's like if Shroom's had a mama. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about Prana. Prana, what? I'm not talking about Prana. I don't even, I don't, look, I don't even invoke Prana, bro. I don't, because look, it's a whole different other person system. You got to talk to the niggas who fuck with Prana. I don't even know nothing about Prana. Um, but yeah, they were, you can follow them to the purpose. You can say they were, like I said, that's why I said shadows. Um, <clears throat> and so, okay, I sit back. And I take the doll, and as, as, I, as I take the doll with my body, that's me. I'm taking this little one. I'm taking this little personality, and I'm like, look, okay. You're not food. You're not food. You have every right to be terrified of me. I can, I can destroy you. I can destroy you. I can rip you. There's nothing you could do about it. You have every reason to be afraid of me. But don't. You're not crazy. It's terrifying. You're right. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could. You have every reason to be afraid. Fear is natural. It has its utility. But don't be. And I spent most of the evening letting him learn that. How did I teach that? I showed him. How did I show him? This is where the fun starts. Because like I said... The shit I was fucking with before, that was just personality shit. That was just, that was all me. <sighs> I got to cleaning up the space. Because at first, look, at first I was just showing him how to, how to wield the music. How to take, how to, how to take the layers of the music. How to mix them, um, shape them, dance on them, have them dance, right? At first I'm just showing him. <sighs> then I noticed the, then I noticed the darkness. Oh, God. I'm still hungry. Because I, I ain't feasted like this in ages. I'm still hungry. And I'm like, this is a perfect learning opportunity. Um, it's just different. He's talking about Aya. Ayahuasca. Yeah, Ayahuasca. That was the, the thing. I know you did Aya multiple times too, right? Yeah, look, yeah, look you got to get my mind in here. Because he got his own thing. Look, um, anyway. Um, this is when I saw the darkness. All right, cause the cause Pete, the the people who were running the space, right? It was a, it was a whole bunch of little human drama. Like they got the whole uppity, you know the. It's, and I'm not trying to down the fact the ritual is necessary. You need the ritual, and so they's doing the ritual, but they doing it in the. I'm pure. I can see. I'm I'm awakened. I've been doing this. I've done the ceremony hundreds of times. I am here. I am. I, uh, you know. I'm. I, 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 Cause look, bro. I remember on day one before we hit any ceremony, we were sitting in the lobby, you know, waiting for people to register. And the dude, who's the dude, right? You know, nigga who's in charge. Dude, who's the dude? He walk in. I spot him from a mile away. He come in, and I'm like, gotta be him. I only, I only, I had never seen a nigga like. It's gotta be him. It's gotta be him. Look, the whole place was filthy, bro. And this is what I mean when I say everybody went with baby, right? Everybody comes to mama. Mama, I got a problem. Here, take my problem and help me. Mama, I got a problem. Take my problem and help me. Repeat that hundreds of thousands of times. The place was filthy. Oh, God, yes. And see, when I say filthy, I don't mean human. Oh, my God, somebody needs to clean this up. It's so nasty and disgusting. I mean, mm. so it was a perfect learning opportunity brah i went through the dirt i went through the air i went through the water i don't mean just no no don't think no goku stuff you niggas don't you miss it don't not outward bruh oh my god perfect learning opportunity you you did it with the music with the dance mm. like if you bruh the dance they stood no chance. Like there were two people next to me, right? Um, I didn't, I didn't talk to none of these people, bro. I didn't talk to none of these people before we did the thing. The the the, the bitch was on the left, right? Before we was even doing the ceremony, they take her in and out. She breaking down. She can't handle it. I don't even know what the. 
fuck is I don't know what the fuck is going on. Right? I I I ain't even talk to dude next to me. I'm getting I'm eating everybody's shit, bro. If I see it, I'm eating. If uh, bro, I was in everyone's shit. Mm. And see, this is this is part of why you don't eat your kids. Because my natural inclination is to eat them. They look like food. I had to grow up and fight against looking like food. And then you say, okay, don't be resentful. Teach them. Teach them. And then they resent you. And so you think, well, damn, maybe I should have treated them like food. But no. You're still wrong. <laughs> Fuck. You're still wrong. Can't eat them. Can't abuse them. Can't abandon them. <laughs> yeah, I ate, bro. I ate. The motherfucker who... The motherfucker was on my right. No, no. The motherfucker on my left, right? After that ceremony, because she said she had been there a bunch of times. Like, then listen to her talk to this lady right there as she they giving her water and she... I'm like, okay. I'm ready to go. Like, Y'all here for whatever you here for, right? You know? And so, she said after that time, she don't know what it was. She was done. Dude on this side. Is he, 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 I actually spoke to him a little bit afterwards. He was like, bro, I don't know what, I don't know what the sounds you were making were, but it, it brought me through the whole thing. And I'm like, I'm not even paying attention to your human shit. I'm hungry. Fuck you mean. Bro, the dance, the dance, the dance. And see, it was wonderful because it started raining. And the rain was the only thing that could keep up with the footwork. Like, y'all know. You talking about, because at first, like, look. At first, I was having this weird thing. And I don't mean personality levels. Pete. I was like, I was really, I was really nostalgic for the flexibility of tentacles. I was nostalgic. And there was nostalgia and frustration. It was like, it was weird because it doesn't sit with the, the, the personality, humanity, because it has nothing to do with that. Um, and so, yeah, before that, I, I had, I, 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 I knew the presence of that. Um, but afterwards, I realized it was, it was short sighted because what I can do with a tentacle, right? Look at the, the weight. I can do that with a thousand arms. Like, imagine you thinking what a tentacle do, you know, a little wave thing. Do it with a thousand arms, a thousand legs. Oh, I miss the dance. You don't understand the footwork. Mm. Oh, just watching them crumble. Look, human personality level, right? And this is funny. I remember when I was living in Mexico, um, I went to a nightclub with some of the people at the hospital I was staying at with. Um, at the time, I was trying to, I was trying to put the move on this little Japanese girl. You know, I saw myself. Um, I really wasn't doing it that hard. I was just like, I'm bored. There's nothing else to do. She's here. She's cute. I'm about to have some fun. Um, didn't fuck. Didn't even go that way. Just so you know, not even a thing. But the point of this story, we went to this club, right? Um, <clears throat> and we had a dance floor. And so, you know me, I'm like, we may not know you, but I'm like, okay, I'm about to, yeah, she don't know me like that, I'm about to, uh, uh, right? So I'm out there, you know, just, just keeping it smooth, right? Just, you know, just, just regular two-step with the extra little, extra little kick in it, you know, just to, just to set the, set the mood, set the tempo. But just being a nigga with no niggas around, I'm already like three steps ahead of everybody. Just, just off, just off rip. But anyway, so, so I'm doing that, right? Here come this Mexican dude. 
And, and mind you, like when you think Mexican, because some of y'all, you know, you never actually met Mexicans and you, you may not have the, the, the context for the variety of people they are like, you know, what white people think about black folks and they always think about the, the nigga with the, uh, the scully and the mugshot. You know, I get it. I get it. I get it. But look, dude, he, he had the um, he was he was a cool looking dude, bro. I ain't gonna flex. I ain't gonna flex. He was a cool looking dude. He had the fitted shirt, you know, the, the slightly baggy jeans, you know, kind of messed up hair. He, and he came up and. And, and look, see, this is the thing. This is why it was funny. He came up dancing close to where we was at. Right? And he looking. <laughs> and he looking, right? See, this is what I mean about the dance. And you can't, the footwork. And watching them crumble in your footwork. Oh, my God, bro. Because look, look, right? So he coming close, right? He, I, he looking. <clears throat> and so he start. He, he. Like I said, I, if I'm doing a two-step and a, an extra little half-step, he started hitting the two-step with the obvious extra step, right? No, come on. Look. If I'm hitting a two-step with a half extra step, right? A little, little subtle extra step just to, just to, you know, express my dominance, right? He come over, hit the two-step with the full obvious one step. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is, this is clearly a challenge. Let's see where this goes. All right. This is clearly a challenge, right? What you, do you not, da you don't, da okay. If you don't dance, you don't get it. But look, it, it was a dance thing, all right? Because look, he see me. He see her. He come over here. He could have done that over there. He come over here next to me and her and do it. And he looking. What? Okay, anyway. So, at this point, what we do is just we both slightly escalate a little bit, right? Just just notch it up. Do, 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 do. What you got, what? Uh, what you, just slightly, not each one of them, notch it up, notch it up, right? And I saw where his limit was. I saw it, right? Cause I, I could see it, I could see it like maybe two levels before he hit it. Because he, he started to, um, how do I explain it? How do I put it into words? He, he started to repeat moves in the same cycle. Like as opposed to extending the cycle and making it, you know, a little more complex, he would repeat a move. And so I'm like, no, nah, he's about to break down, right? Because I had I had another six or seven levels, easy. And so I'm looking. So instead of just going up one level, I went up five. And I crushed him. I I, I cr like I, I saw him dancing, his dance. Like, he, like a, you know how a low frequency wave will eat a high frequency wave? It just consume it. I saw him consume. He couldn't match the footwork, bro. In the middle of me hitting it, and it, it, mind you, whole time, bitches is watching. The, the one, the, the, she watching. She watching both of us. She knows she ain't gonna miss it, bro. This man gave up. Hey, in the middle, in the middle of me hitting it, duh, he stopped dancing and went like this. Waited for the song to end and gave me the doubt, bro. Please get the fuck out of here. The footwork. Mm. Uh, bro, I wouldn't even think about her then. I was having so much fun. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, look, that's why, that's why I did good. That's why I really didn't like nothing. Because after that, bro, I was chilling with this thing. We was having so much fun drinking and talking shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, niggas don't get it, man. It's, 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 it's so caught up in. What your personality got to be? What it's supposed to be? Where are you trying to get to? How you ain't right secretly? Oh. <laughs> Man. That shit was fun. And it was always me to dance in, motherfucker, bruh. It was always me. Because I'm not even the nigga. I'm not even the best nigga dancer. You know, bruh, I know this. But you put a nigga in a room for nobody who knows how to dance. All of a sudden, I look like God when I when I do a, a basic jig. Oh man, the footwork, watching the dance consume them. And then that, that, that I ain't even mentioned the weapons. I ain't even mentioned the weapons. <sighs> My, my, like I said, not just in the earth, not just in the water, because they had a lake there. That shit was dense. <sighs> First of all, I know that nobody physically cleans it. I know nobody physically cleans it. I'm a, I'm a water nerd. Sorry. Uh, I know nobody physically cleans it, <clears throat> but just, it was. 
because you, you water absorbs it's it's the same to the degree to which fire projects water absorbs Ugh. Ugh, it was it was filthy i cleaned it up man i cleaned it up it was oh my god it was good but that's why i learned not to eat my kids and that there are other things i can eat but along the way i've been learning it's more than just not eating them. like i said you can't abandon them you can't abuse them you have to cultivate them and not only that and this is the big one this is the big one i found and it it, it kills me more than anything almost literally i have to let them eat me You ever read uh, Stranger in a Strange Land? Or at the end? Where they did, they literally eat him. <laughs> like, that's what it's gotta be. And I hate it so much. <laughs> it's alright though. You know, because if I have contingencies for that, I can actually deal with it. I'm still disgusted and I still hate it. <sighs> oh yeah. Well, you're gonna get your fill. Mm hmm. Fuck, man. Fuck. Mm. Yeah, daddy's home. <laughs> it sucks. <sighs> okay. I'm good now. I'm good. I had to I had to get that out. I had to get some of that out. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Um and I'm going to be talking about this more. Looking at the title, Detox Time, right? I know for me it is. Right? Detoxing off eat of slaying the younglings? What? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> what you mean I got to raise them? <laughs> oh, but I get it now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That's that's a better way to say it. I'm not trying to... I'm not, I don't want to give you the I get it now, but I'm getting it. <sighs> and I'm getting it. Um, But this is what I wanted to say. Um... Because I'm going to be talking about this a lot more as, as I start building up my show back up. Um, this, this, the, the left hand path, the right hand path, middle path, and, and what you kind of, what you're supposed to be doing. Like, I, like, I, I, I noticed this, like, in the spectrum of people that, that I listen to, I've talked to, I work with. Um, there it is. I'm sorry. I was, I was waiting for that. I was really waiting for that. I was trying to talk and wait for it. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's, yeah. Oh, I was trying to talk. Okay, anyways, um, in the spectrum of people I talk to, uh, you have on the one far side, you have people who who have, uh, who don't know, they don't really believe, they don't know what to believe. They're rejecting like both sides of the people. They're rejecting the idea of somebody telling them what to do. No one's going to tell me what to do anymore. All this shit's been a lie. No one's going to tell me what to do anymore. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Okay, cool. Got you. These people, they go two ways. One one way is, yeah, you said all that, but this is how it's capped. It's capped because what you end up ultimately looking for are some ultimate rules, some underlying rule to everything that you can learn. And basically, that's just... That, Right at the end of the day, that's something telling you what to do again. Like you can you can say, I make all the rules, but you don't know how to live it or embrace that. And then on the other side, there's niggas who will go, okay, well, I make all the rules. And they overdose on the confidence so much so that they never check their work. And then on top of that, because all that just confidence and saying shit, now they start teaching. That is those sides. I rarely get a nigga in the middle. I rarely get a nigga in the middle of that. But it's usually one of those sides, all right? And look, with left hand, right hand, middle path, all that's how you live physical life. All that's based on what your premises of thinking is. And so this is why I, 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 I direct people to examine that. Because you could answer your question yourself if you, if you knew what the thing was you're looking at, what you're holding on to. And I'm the only one that hears the two frequency changes in your <laughs> Good. I hope, I hope you can only hear two. <laughs> Y'all, 
you gotta listen to them for listen to folks man especially when you get to a place where you can stop seeing so much me and more it, it, it looks more like a we than a me but that's down the road see motherfuckers act like they ready to get down the road it's, you got y'all need the fundamentals you got to get your fundamentals you got to figure out what you're looking for why are you doing any of this what does it mean what's it for and I, if I could give you the answer, you may as well have just settled for the last nigga that was going to give you the answer. You need to know how to build the answer. You need to know why you want the answer. I can't tell you the answer. If you, if you're the nigga that make the rules, you got to, you got to really comprehend what it mean to make the rules. Some niggas think what it mean to be king is I get to tell everybody what to do and I do what I want. What's well, stop? What's well, stop? Thank you, lovely. Could you give me some water, please? Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, looking out, bro. Looking out. Yeah, motherfuckers think to be the king mean I get to do whatever the fuck I want to, however the fuck I want to. No. King is responsibility. You gotta know some shit. You gotta know some shit to, to live that life. Uh, perfect example is that is uh the prince and the pauper. Prince and the pauper is a good example of that. Where the little dude they switch out the prince and the, and, the, and the poor kids switch out and you got to peep the the people in the palace right when the prince switch out and they get the little poor kid just off of how that nigga talking they know something is wrong they know something is off just how that little nigga see the world they know something is off bro it's it's you can't fool that you can't fake that you can't just put on the fancy prince clothes and now really you royalty. Nah, nigga, that's a lie and you know it. You may really want it not to be a lie. Okay, fair enough. You got some heat in you, kiddo. But it's a lie and you know it's a lie. You got to start from that basis. You can't, you can't jump past acknowledging that you don't really believe. Okay, look, look you're not going to disappoint me. Fuck you mean. Nigga, I knew you didn't believe. I've been trying to tell you that for months. <laughs> Fuck you mean? <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to get Shit. Motherfucker, I want me to be proud of them for doing the basics. And it's like I I this is once again, don't eat your kids. You want me to you want me to look at you and be proud of the mud pie. And you know what? It's not nothing. I can give you that. It's not nothing. But you also want me to treat it like it's a it's a it's a real pie. You want me to take it and you want me to lie. I know you want me to lie. And, and to a certain degree, I have to. And then you're gonna look up at me. What you mean Santa Claus ain't real? <laughs> but you want me to lie, boy. You want it to be true. I don't know how I'll go, I'll go for months with a nigga. And they just steady trying to find a subtle way to have superhuman powers. They just, they, they're building up all their knowledge of spirituality around how to make their personality super. And they'll say, nah, it's not really me. Really, I'm all this stuff. But they don't know how to live that. They're the, they're the, they're the pauper trying to live in the, in the palace. Mm mm. Like even even the prince when he went into the poor shit, bro, he didn't know how to he didn't know how that shit worked. He didn't understand. Mm -mm. See, the dense. Remember, I talk about the three levels of the fool, the three densities of the fool. Motherfuckers just let him put it on their chest. I'm the fool. Look at me, ha! Huh? It means I'm more advanced than you. No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> Necessary ignorance, willful ignorance, and inevitable ignorance. The father, the mother, and the child. The father and the mother aren't the density where the work comes from. It's only the child. And the child is inevitable ignorance. It's not willful ignorance. See, the necessary ignorance is most, most everything in the physical world is going to fall into the category of necessarily ignorant. If everything was not ignorant, there'd be no ignorance. There'd be no thing. There'd just be one. There'd be nothing, brother. This is what I'm saying. This is why you got to get the metaphysics. If there was absolutely no ignorance, you're, what you're talking about is oneness then. And the, the problem with oneness is that it may as well be zero. For all you can do with it, 
it may as well be zero because look, one is just one. That's that's the met. Once again, that's metaphysics. Anyways, the ignorance is necessary. Okay, so there's a large portion of it that's necessary for the thing to work. The whole body can't be neurons. Okay. Then you got the willful ignorance. Those that aren't just necessarily ignorant, but are actually aware of the fact that they're ignorant. You know, so they'll play the fool. But just being intellectually aware of something is it the same thing as dancing with it? That's not the same thing as dancing with it. And the, and the motherfuckers who just like to play the fool, and that's all. And then, and like, as soon as when you start to question them, all they really got is, "Well, I'm absurd. I'm the fool. Uh, I'm just here to make you question." That's the act. That's an act. Because this is what I'm telling you. That that level of willful ignorance. It's it's only more advanced than motherfuckers who are necessarily dumb. Like, bro, like you only cool on the racetrack because niggas are in the audience in the stands. Like, if nobody was in the stands, what difference would it make that you on the track? Bro, it's necessary. And you hyping yourself up because you're moving faster than niggas that's in the audience. But they not here to race. And so as a nigga who here to race, you still impressed with that shit. That means you're not really there yet. And so what I mean by really there yet is where you're bumping up against the inevitability of ignorance. Because that's a different that's a different density of ignorance. The necessary ignorance isn't necessarily inevitable. <laughs> Cuz you can cuz there's a lot of ignorance that you can overcome. There's a lot of ignorance that you can overcome. So that's necessary. That's necessary. It was the Simply to overcome some of the ignorance doesn't mean you made it to the upper room. You got to hit the inevitable ignorance because that's where the work starts. Y'all motherfuckers trying to get to a place where you're beyond all ignorance. Newsflash, bro, you started there. You never leave. But that's, see, that's what I'm saying. Oneness sucks. Oneness is fucking stupid. That's why Christ is the savior of the father. Christ don't save the world. He saves the father. The world is what he was given to do it. What is the world for? The cross. He dies to the cross and rises. Bro, three saves one from being basically nothing. One may as well be zero. Without three, one may as well be zero. And the only way you get to three from one is two. What are we talking about? Two. Illusion. Ignorance. Division. Separation. And there's the holy fool dancing by himself. And, and see, that dance by himself. That's the... Mm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Most of these willful niggas who are willfully ignorant niggas are, aren't dancing by themselves. They're dancing for the crowd. You dance by yourself because there is no crowd. Remember, don't bend the spoon. Don't try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Simply realize the truth. What's the truth? That there is no spoon. Then you see it's not the spoon that bends. It's you. One, two, three. Points, lines, triangles. The thing that's changing is the empty space. The points, lines, and the triangles are the effect of that. See, once again, niggas don't know the underlying metaphysics. They just repeat the things other people have said and perform for everybody on Instagram. That's footwork of its own. It, exactly. Because that dance that the, the dance that the fool does alone. Bro, that's that's where the shit really starts. When I say alone, I don't just mean, oh, I don't have any friends in my human life. No, no, that ain't that ain't deep enough. That ain't it. I'm talking about the cosmic loneliness of one. Right? You got it. Cause you niggas can talk one. Okay, they can talk one. I'm talking about as one looking into two, looking into the infinite vastness of yourself. Where you waiting to see something, but you know nothing's coming. You know nothing's coming. You waiting. You would love to see something. It would make it different, but there's nothing. It's just, it, there's nothing. The cosmic loneliness. See, y'all motherfuckers will pick you. See, they'll say I'm, I'm the one, I'm everything to motivate themselves to feel good. You ain't really felt it yet. And that's baby food. Fuck. Come on, left hand pet. That's baby food, bruh. 
You don't forget that loneliness. You know what I'm saying? This ain't some shit you do on the weekend, bro. This ain't some shit to add to your life. Yeah, this is some shit where you find out your, the, the, the shit you thought was the main course is a side dish, my nigga. That's peas and green beans. Fuck out of here. Mm-mm. Void call it. Look, you be lucky to get an echo. Void call it. You talking about shit. <laughs> Six, what is the loneliest number? Exactly. Well, and see, that's it. When, like, when, ugh, this is the things you need to experience to get one. It's more than I feel good, so I must be doing it. <laughs> I, I I know the inclination, having gone through so many things that don't feel good. Con- constantly telling yourself, it's just a little bit further. I've made it this far. It's just a little bit further. It's just a little bit further. And then you find something, You everything in you wants to say, this gotta be it. The difference between the student and the master is the student has failed more times than the master. The master has failed more times than the student has tried. When I tell you niggas, I've been you. I. You think it's a flex because if you said it, it'd be a flex. <laughs> you think it's a flex because if you said it, it'd be a flex. <laughs> oh shit! It's embarrassing to have been you niggas. <laughs> That's why it gets so bad. <laughs> but I get it. Like, I'm not saying it in, in a sense, haha, look at you. It's like, bruh, damn it. Look at you. Like, I, I, I've been that. I get what that point is. I get where that place is. But I understand not even wanting to get that. You ever heard your parents tell you, you know, you want to go to the party? Like, I get what it was like to be your age. And you're just like, fuck you. Right? I know. I know. I get it. I hate it. It's disgusting. And I can't just eat you. I can't kill you. I can't just abandon you. (laughs) I gotta take it. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) I gotta take it. (laughs) Oh, shit. I gotta take it with a straight face. It's cool, though. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, it's gonna be legendary. You gonna save this? Um, yeah, I usually I usually just save it right on the profile. I'm pretty sure it saves. I guess I should double check. I usually hit share and I'm I'm pretty sure that saves it. So I'm, I'm gonna double check because I'll probably do, I'll download it as well. So I can put it on YouTube. I wanna cling to that shit like a cat. Yeah, yeah, I wanna cling. And see, look, man. Don't deny the part of you that wants to cling. Don't deny the part of you that doesn't believe. Listen to what that motherfucker got to say. Listen to what it got. Because maybe it got a point. Maybe it got a point. See, look, you, you you see somebody and you see it. Darkness looks cool. I get it. Everybody wants to be cool. Darkness looks cool. The left-hand path ain't no, ain't no joke. Most of y'all will really like the middle path. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to understand what you're trying to, what, what are you trying to get? What do you believe is real? Nigga, what is you? That's why I say it. It, 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 it points to all six of the directions in the shit. What is you? It's going to, when you answer that, it's going to fill everything. It's going to give you the whole framework. Or it's going to point to whatever framework you do, you're using or the fact that you don't have a framework. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. It's all right, man. Because look. Look, somebody gonna walk in this motherfucker and defeat me proper. And then my reign gonna be over and I'm gonna be satisfied. My reign gonna be over and I'm gonna be satisfied. That's why I wanna teach niggas to teach it. Because that's what everybody wanna be able to do is teach it to a dead nigga. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to teach it to a dead nigga. And this is what's gonna happen. You gonna hear me say it. You gonna have the tools. You gonna hear me say it. You gonna have the tools. You gonna feel confident. You gonna go. You gonna run out there. I done heard Eric say this four or five times, man. I'm good. Watch me do it. And you're going to get in front of him and you're going to flub. It's like it's like on the Matrix where, you know, they got the jump program, right? And they do it. Everybody fails the first time. <sighs> Maybe, here's the thing. Maybe you wouldn't fail if you understood why everyone, quote unquote, fails the first time. 
Because you don't realize the level of your own ignorance. You haven't hit inevitable ignorance. You don't, you're not dancing with ignorance yet. You're fighting it. You're fighting it. You're upset about where you don't know, how you don't know. Your fear of the unknown. Even if it's not all encompassing, it still pushes enough buttons to get what it needs. So you're gonna you're gonna miss the first jump. Inevitably. But you have to, you have to, this is why you have to fall. Because you, otherwise you're not gonna see what's on the ground tripping you up. You're not gonna see your second left foot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to act like you can bash my footwork. I'm hitting sitting here with a thousand feet, and you can't see your second left foot. But stop. <laughs> oh, see, now it's funny. It hurts so much. It's funny. God, you get crucified every time. Yep, over and over, inevitable, forever. <laughs> it, that's the thing, man. You talking left hand path, bro? There isn't a break. You you don't some of them don't realize how deeply you're you're running after a break. How do I know? I do it. <laughs> you're not gonna tell me you're not doing it. <laughs> but it's not that it's bad to do it, is that you gotta understand the nature of the game. As a thing, it's bound, so it is unbound. The reason Dorothy didn't go back to Kansas, because she never left, the reason she didn't leave, go back, is because she didn't understand the nature of her predicament. Or how she was continuing to agree to it. Do you need both? And you're not gonna have both before you take the first jump. You gotta hit the ground a couple times before you can start to even see both. That ass ain't no breaks. Shit all gas. Exactly, bro. Ain't no breaks. Cause look, you'll find the one that want the break is the personality. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even judge yourself for wanting it. That's what I'm saying. You can't even judge yourself for wanting it. It's it's understandable. It's understandable. Like if you if you saw somebody else in the shoes that you in, you'd give them slack. <clears throat> but you can't give yourself slack because you know all the hidden bullshit about yourself and how you just can't be innocent <laughs> or worthy. <laughs> you just don't deserve. Ah, uh, cause you know all the little hidden secrets. Ah, uh, it's cap. It's cap. <laughs> it's cap, bro. I know. <laughs> Hell yeah, you gotta admit that shit to yourself first and foremost. Really though, really. Like some people will build their whole structure trying to avoid having to look at it. <laughs> That's why they be pissed at me. <laughs> like, cause. Like, let's say they're trying to avoid, like, you know, like you do a gingerbread man cookie and you cut out the gingerbread man and leaves the negative space, right? Let's say they're trying to avoid the gingerbread man. So the whole thing looks like the negative space of a gingerbread man talking about, no, nah, nigga, I ain't got no gingerbread man shit here. <laughs> like, nigga, what are you doing? Like, as a thing is bound, so it is unbound. To the degree to which you try and hide something is the degree to which you're showing. <laughs> That's why, I said, that's why I love that shit. The, the, the naked man fears no pickpocket. The naked man fears no pickpocket. Motherfuckers don't want to look in the mirror. Hell no. Nah. They want to find every way to cope with what's in the mirror or never have to look at it. And both of those are, ju are just trying to avoid the problem. That's the, that's the fake it till you make it. You got to face it. The only way through is through. <laughs> oh my. The only way through is through. <laughs> only way through is through <clears throat> i'm jumping off i gotta get ready um i don't have to get too ready but uh, i'm gonna do the um the first practical practice today judging everyone and everything else but themselves yeah they usually they oh it's, it, it's funny you say it that way um because that's the outside shell of it but you're right you're right but the 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 causal aspect of that is usually um I don't say people, people people will expect the world will expect themselves from the world that's how you say it excuse me people will expect themselves from the world but what i mean by that is they'll um they'll hold other people to the standards that they would hold themselves to secretly um but usually the ones that'll trigger 
are the ones that they don't hold up, they don't hold up to themselves in like like you like you see you see a motherfucker failing at what you would fail at but you don't want to address the fact that you would fail at it so it it's easier to to, to push it on them like, hey man look you gotta get off get off your ass get the fuck up what are you doing no you don't have to do that you're crazy but real shit bro you would have done the same thing kind of shit i mean so look when you can see it in yourself it's not only easier to see it in other people but you give less of a fuck because if you're not if you're not judging yourself for being what you are it's easier to it's easier to let people be what the fuck they are it's so much easier bro all right i'm getting off of here man this is this is killer. i gotta i gotta i gotta do stuff even though i'm not doing stuff i gotta do stuff all right y'all, i appreciate y'all's presence man y'all have a great one mm.